Hey, it's Charlotte Mabry with Keller Williams Realty, and today we're going to talk about how to get your offer accepted by a seller in this really tough all about sellers market. Hi, it's Charlotte Mabry again with Keller Williams Realty. Thank you for watching our video blog today. Before we talk about how to get your offer accepted in this market, if you're thinking of buying or maybe you're in the buying process right now, all you got to do is look over there and click on that little button and uh, find out all the information you could possibly need about how to buy a house. If you're thinking of selling or maybe you've got to sell your home first before you buy, there's a button over there for that as well. So click on that. We'll be glad to get you that additional information. Hey, if you're out there buying in today's market, you've probably seen how tough it is to get the house of your dreams right now. There are so many multiple offer situations, particularly just in the past few months. So we've learned some great tips to help our buyers get the best deal they can. Number one on the list, if it's all possible to offer cash, that is a great thing for you to do. Now, not everybody can do that, but perhaps if you've got an opportunity to pay cash, you should do that. Or maybe even put more money down. In other words, instead of doing a 90% loan, maybe do a 50% loan on the property. That gives you a little more clout when it comes to buying. Maybe you want to offer some additional earnest money. If a seller is looking at two offers and one of them has $5,000 of earnest money put down and the other one has $500 of earnest money put down, well, I don't know about you, but if I were that seller, I'd be looking for somebody who put down more earnest money there. You know, when it comes to getting a loan, if you're going that route, you need to be fully pre-approved and ready to close. None of this, okay, I'm going to get a house and then I'll go get pre-approved, or, or my lender still has to work through some of the process, or I've got to go get uh, something finished up when it comes to my approval. That can't happen today. You need to be fully pre-approved and ready to go. You might even think also about working with the seller's terms. For example, maybe the seller could stay after closing some, maybe giving them the opportunity to rent from you. Those are great things to have as well from, from a seller's perspective. Last thing on my list, and this is a great tool, is write a letter, a letter about your family, why you want the house. I'd even suggest put a picture of your family in there. Include all of that with your offer. That way the seller has some perspective for who you are. Hey, we've had properties where people actually offered less money, but because the seller really liked the looks of those buyers and were happy to get school kids maybe in their neighborhood, they took that offer. That's a great tip, and trust me, it really works. You know, our buyer specialists on the Charlotte Mabry team, they are trained in everything you can think of to get you as a buyer the best deal on the house and, gee, just to get the house in today's market. If you'd like to get in touch with one of them, you can send us an email, charlotte at charlottemabryteam.com, or you can call directly to our buyer team by calling our team phone, 423-593-5588. I appreciate you watching our video blog. We look forward to seeing you next time here at the Charlotte Mabry team. Have a great day.